we're here tonight at the Shamrock Bowl for game four of the Irish season and the region opener versus Dooley County. Nelson, who we got in? Captains. Captains out here tonight are Jaquan Willis Sr. Number number five, number 50 is gonna be Dominique Darty. Number 18, Jaquan Waters. Number nine is gonna be Quay Ashley. Coming in here on a big homecoming night yeah. too, by the way. Homecoming here tonight in Dublin. Irish looking to get back on the winning track after a tough start against some good upper class uh, competition, Nelson in Dodge County and Swainsboro. Well, I think both of those teams, uh, we like to play them every year. Yeah. Uh, this year, this year we caught them kind of at a bad time. I think both of them ranked probably in the top ten in, in Double A, and uh, we're been down a little bit to this year trying to fit some younger players into some new positions right there. But we did sandwich a, a, a region victory in between those two okay. now. Right. So it's not the first region game of the year, first region home game of the year. Yeah, we, let's get that right. We sandwiched a region win right. and That's I down Wheeler, Wheeler right. two weeks ago. And am I correct? that tonight we'll get Jaquarius Evans back at least on at quarterback, Nelson, right. do you think? I'm looking at the probable starters for Coach Holmes. Uh, and these are probable, uh, but he's got Jaquarius Evans starting at quarterback and not starting on defense. Uh, I don't see him anywhere on the defensive team tonight. So. Oh, well, Dooley won the toss, correct? Deferred, so Dublin will be kicking off. Got John Potter John back Potter, yeah. Ready this to week. Uh, Potter's been out. Uh, Here comes to the Cage goes off. Cage goes up there. Here the Irish. Let's give a big old round of applause. That's Jaquan Willis running out with his flag man. Big Cam Hampton. Or Cam Hampton, excuse me. It's number six, I thought it was number five. Cam Hampton actually is going to uh, start on defense for the night. Back at that uh, weak corner back there tonight. He played some really good football this year. Nelson, you know anything about Dooley? Oh, we're going to take a quick break before the kick. Quick timeout, we'll be right back. Our mission is to lessen the trauma suffered by individuals who have been abused or assaulted. We provide evaluation in a safe, caring environment to encourage collaboration of services for the benefit of the victim and their non-offending family members. We strive to increase the protections of victims and hold offenders accountable. Here at Stepping Stone, you are never alone. If you or someone you know has been a victim of child abuse or sexual assault, please know we are here for help and comfort. We offer a variety of resources to help meet your needs and get you out of difficult situations. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or call our fully confidential crisis number at 478-595-8339. You can also reach us at our office at 478-275-9010. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. All right, we're back. The Irish about to kick off to Dooley County to start tonight's game. Nelson, anything you can tell us about Dooley, how they've Dooley. done so far? Yeah, Dooley uh, dresses out about 60 or 65 players, young sophomore quarterback with a, a college arm already, uh, three receivers, number four, you're need, gonna need to keep your eye on number four tonight. 6'2", 175, and the other receivers, 6'1", about 190. And of course, I got it exactly wrong. Dublin will be receiving the kickoff. Dooley County will kick off to start the game. 
We've got back deep, we've got JT Wright, and I believe that Jeremiah Green with him. Looks like number three, it's hard to tell. Number two, Ashley. Oh, is that Ashley? Okay. I thought it was a nine, not a three. His, his uniform's kind of hung up in that uh, pad they wear to protect the kidneys and all. And it's hard to read. Beautiful night tonight, oh, 70 yeah. degrees with a about a three mile an hour three mile an hour wind out of the north and northeast crater. Yeah, I was walking my dog about an hour and a half ago. It was absolutely gorgeous this afternoon. Off sides. It was off sides on Dooley County, so they'll be back. Kick off from there 35. So that could Nelson help Dublin get good field position if we can get a decent return on this kickoff. They're right and Ashley back deep yeah. for the hour, still standing about the goal line. And the up men in front of them up at 20. A couple guys at 35, and then the main line at, right at midfield. It's coming to Ashley again at about his six yard line. Comes off to his left, a little bit of a blocking. Cuts to the outside, and he'll be out near the 40. That's a nice return by Quay Ashley of about close to 35 yards. Right down by Akeem, Akeem Williams, sophomore for uh, Dooley County there. Wrestling pretty good, wrestling yeah. tussling out of bounds, but he, he picked Quay up and helped him up. Yeah. Good sportsmanship to start the game. Place the ball at the 38, so give him 32 yards on the return. But Dublin does, like we talked about, had a chance to get good field position to start their, the game, and they do. Dooley is big up front offensively and defensively. Yeah, you're looking, looking down at their defensive front, we've got a good view of them where they are, where they're lined up, and a couple of big kids in there. Almost a six-man line. A bunch very tightly. Green. Hand off to Green. Picks his way nicely up near the 45. He'll get about six yards. I think they'll mark it over 44. Six, so nice game. Second five for the eight. Collier on the tackle there for Dooley. We'll take those six yarders all night. So second and four for Dublin in the initial drive of the ball game. Really nice run back to help Dublin there with some good field position, Carter. And off around the left end of JT Wright. He'll be up to midfield and should have a first down. JT Wright picks up the first down right from the left side. Move those chains. Move the chains. Here, Crowd, move yeah, that's about chains. six more. Nelson's a two first running plays, 12 yards. Yard JT Wright is the Dublin's leading ground gainer for the year. I rely heavy on, heavily on him and Corey Ashley. Evans brings him up. I believe that's Green directly behind him. Quick handoff to right down around the left side. Had some daylight, and then one man Did was able to get him out of bounds at near the 40, I believe, of Dooley County. Really good ball yeah. by number 51. Just a quick Dooley handoff Dooley. with him coming around the left side. I don't, know, I don't think you call that a jet sweep. Just kind of a, he came around in motion, took that quick handoff. The ball all the way down to their 36. So a heck of a nice run, and the Irish will be first and 10 from there. And off again to right around the left side with blocking. Nice cut back toward the middle of the field. He'll be down Did near the 20. Another side nice side run, of nearly 15 the yards for right. Just an absolutely pancake of a block by number 60, Desmond Gilbert there. Yeah, that was a great job by the left side of Dublin's offensive line. As you said, Gilbert with the key block. Ball will be on the 23, so give him 13 yards on that carry. Good looking open drive for Dublin. Again to right around the left side. Boy, they got something cooking there, Nelson. He'll go in. I think he went in. Yeah, he caught. Went in the corner. Yeah, the corner stand. And I'm not sure that ball may have come out before he broke the plane, but he was able to corral it in the end zone, so it didn't matter. Touchdown, Irish. 10 on 9 left in the first. JT Wright doing all the work on that drive, although great blocking by again by the left side of the Dublin's offensive line throughout that drive. 
coaches obviously have seen something on the left side of our, yeah. our team and the yeah, right side of that Duke yeah, County on. team that's going to give them some yeah. openings there. I would imagine knowing Roger Holmes the way we do and as well as that run to the left is working, he'll keep doing it until they stop it. Potter's kick is up and strong good. and good. So with 10.09 to go in the first quarter, your score from the Shamrock Bowl. Dublin 7, Dooley County nothing. Good morning, this is Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. I'm standing in a home that we recently renovated for a customer. A kitchen is a very vital part of a home, especially when you get ready to resell or just you like to entertain people. We came in with new granite countertops. We even changed some of the seating areas. of it. We refinished all the cabinets, put new doors, new hardware. We can use your existing cabinets. One of the things that we did that changed the look of this kitchen was the lighting that we did. We added a lot of LED spotlights. Went from an old oak, gunstock, hardwood floor to a new hickory, random length floor. We can change it from top to bottom. Lots of many pretty things that we've done. Come by and see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction at 1801 Rice Avenue in Dublin, Georgia. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Hope to see you soon. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. The Irish about to kick off with John Potter after a tremendous opening drive and Nelson, we uh, need to mention our player of the game tonight will be sponsored by Dublin Chevy Nissan and our replays by City of Dublin Natural Gas. And great replay for J.T. Wright on that last drive on the touchdown. Miles Quan Adams, <clears throat> number five and number nine. Jamar Sanders back yeah. deep for Dooley. They're deep men just inside their 10. Good kick drives him back near the goal line and he actually goes down. He'll be down at about the two yard line. That's a tremendous kick by Potter. Kick, low line drive kick. It, it hit the running back yeah. and just kind of drove him to his knee, slipped yeah. on that new turf we've got yeah, down there. Their, their return men were spread out outside the hashes on right, about their nine. But that kick drove him back all the way near the goal line and then when he Caught the ball and attempted to go upfield. He lost his footing, so Dooley County will start out in a hole for their first drive at their own one yard line. Maybe the two, I guess. Looks like knows the football just barely touching the two. They're going to come in here with some really big offensive linemen. Yeah, you can uh, see a couple of really big kids coming out onto the field for them. In practice this week, I've noticed Dublin working on several new defensive packages that we may see through the night. So Their quarterback's a sophomore, Antoine right. Clayton, number 11, then kind of a broken wing look, and one of their linemen jumped, or that split end, I believe, and drew and up on all sides. Junior, junior lineman there. Yeah, or was the Davian Williams, I believe, moved. It's going to cost them, what, a half a yard, maybe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to be on Dublin. It's on Dublin? Actually, Dublin drew them I off. didn't see that. Yeah. I think we had a guy on our left, maybe our left end, jump first. Apparently, he got into the neutral zone before they moved. Uh, it looked like, almost yeah. like an attempted blitz, and he backed yeah. off of it to me. So I don't know about that. It'll be first and five for Dooley now. That helps him get out of the hole. Now one of their guys jumps, I believe. Little flag on the play. That may give it right back. Excuse me, call against the Bobcats. Back to the red line of scrimmage, brings up Phil. Yeah, first that'll back them up first back to the two, so they'll Number be one. back to first and ten instead of first and five. So 
penalty, the penalty flag out early tonight. Well, this is a uh, can be a scary place to come in and play a football game if you've never been in here. Uh, newly renovated, Dooley County. We went down there last year. They've probably never been up here, so uh, yeah, they I might have remember. some jitters. Yeah, I can't remember Dooley, Dooley and Dublin playing in the, in the past. The quarterback's standing about two yards deep in his end zone, looks to his left, pulls it down, or to his right, comes off to his left. Big hit at the five after a short game. Well, Monte uh, Darty. Darty. Yeah. Yeah, we Big call, hit. We've called his name all year yeah. long. Yeah. The quarterback looked to his left, nothing there, pulled it down, came off to his right. Appeared to have a little bit of running room, Nelson, but that closed fast when Darty hit him. So they'll be second about seven, I think, from there. Maybe a short eight. Ball just touching the five. Dublin's still in, Dublin in that 4-4 defense at the time. Twins left. Tight look to the right. He's going to throw it to his out, outside receiver. He'll be up near first down yardage. One of those big receivers. Yeah, yeah nice out. throw. That's the kid you're talking about, number four. That's... Jalen Hall, and he's a sophomore, Nelson. Right, so is the quarterback. Yeah, yeah so the kid will probably be being recruited here starting next year pretty heavily. First and ten. All right, Dooley gets the ball all the way out to their own 14, so it will be first and ten for them. They got a lineman running off late. A couple of subs in for them. Now they'll flip-flop with the Hall kid. He'll come out way left. They got trips left this time. One man in the backfield with their quarterback, Clayton. Clayton back to throw. Dumps it off to a back out in the left flat. And he'll be up near the 20. Got a decent gain out of it, maybe five. Pretty good little pass play. Yeah. Dumped dump it out to yeah. Uh, yeah. open actually, receiver. Yeah, I said the left flat. It was actually out into the right flat. That was not who he was really looking for. That yeah. was going to be a second look receiver there. Quarter did a great job getting in the ball. Yeah, right there. yeah. He was looking downfield all the way when the play, as the play was called, but did a nice job checking it down to his back. So let's call it second four. The nose of football touching the twenty. Notice eight twenty-eight to go in the first quarter. Dublin leads seven nothing. Now a tight formation for them, but one a hall way out wide left. Timeout. I think Dooley was had some trouble on the timeout, Bob line on the alignment. So we'll take a quick timeout. Be right back. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. the world is today go 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 things just seem so out of control that's why the things we can control are so important that's why we're members of our electric co-op the whole reason the co-op exists is to bring us the electricity we need so they look out for us they invest in the best technology you can get, just to keep the power on. Not because they have to. They actually do it because it's the right thing to do. All right, we're back with 8.21 to go in the first quarter. The Irish go down for an easy touchdown. Running the ball on their first drive at Dooley County. Trying to wound a drive here 
after having to start from their own one yard line after a great kickoff by Potter. Pinned them deep. Looking like a blitz coming right in. Yep. That was uh, Ashley, I believe, or Green. Jeremiah Green, Nelson, an inside linebacker, just played it perfectly on the blitz. He ran right up into the hole, plugged it, then ran the running back down as he tried to break outside for a loss of a yard. It'll be third and five for Dooley County. Also, number 55, Caleb Hall, was in there to bust yeah. that one up, too. Well. Actually, third and about nine, so he lost. He lost, what, four yards there, I believe? Dublin running in a new defense there. We're looking at going to that 3-5 now that I was yeah. talking about. Dooley will have twins right this time. Power left formation. I believe they were all – they jumped. Let's check the call. We were Dublin was showing blitz there, and I don't yeah. know if they made the game on the Dooley County Bobcat. Yeah, yeah, that will make it that much tougher for their offense. That'll take them back inside their own or back to their 10 yard line. They'll be third and about 14. They've got to get out to the 24 for the first down. That's going to, that had Dooley confused there. I'm telling you, they, they probably have not prepared for this 3 5 defense double right. and it's showing because they haven't showed it to anybody in two years. <laughs> okay. It's a good reason not to be ready for it. Right. <laughs> good excuse, right? Three five. Mm -hmm. Now they got twins right, one man left. That's Hall. Went to throw it to him. Flush the quarterback. He's running up the sideline. He'll get close to the first down. Let's see where they spot it. That was a it looks nice like job he got by it. the quarterback to pull it down and take off. And then some great running down there. Down their sideline. And he might have gotten that first down. We had two men miss him in the backfield yeah. there. Yeah, we had a lot of heat on him right off the snap, but unfortunately he was able to get past our pass rush and then into the open field. Ed Dooley's trying to dig themselves out of that hole where they started on the two yard line. He showed a lot of athleticism right there too, so this kid can throw it and run it, obviously. Twins right this time, the ball on the 25, Dooley first and 10 from there. Inside handoff and then breaks it to the outside. Well played by Quay Ashley. Great play by Ashley, and I believe that'll cost him and y'all lost a couple of yards. Beautiful play by Ashley. He played off a block. He recognized it and then played off a block. Call it second 11. They'll throw them for a loss of one yard. So Dooley was second long from their 24 with 6.38 to go in the first quarter. I believe that was their own second rushing attempt. Only tonight. Yeah, they're going to throw it a lot, especially to number four, who's out wide left this time, and man in the slot inside him. Now they move their wing back over to the left. Quarterback rolling to his left, throws complete. Good catch. Nice catch by number 10. That's Trevor Sedevin Cross, junior wide receiver for them up. Across the 25, up near the 30. I think the ball will be placed, actually, up near the 35. Ball's going to be placed at their 34. They'll be second and about two. Ashley's helmet came off in that fracas there, and we're having to run Malachi O'Neill out there for a play or two. Come out for one, at least one play. All right. All right, this is make it third, excuse me. I forgot the lost yardage play. Third and let's call it a short three. Dooley. I guess you better watch the quarterback here. Yep. Twins right and left, fakes a handoff, looking to throw, looks to his left, pulls it down. Now dumps it off, complete, although there is a Pretty flag. Nice tackle. Yeah, he has a receiver. One of his running backs, I believe, caught it and got up okay. across the 40. But got a flag out here yeah. about the 15. I wonder if they might have had a, a lineman downfield. A lot of times on a play like that, that will happen. Dublin's anticipating that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be against Dooley County. Well, that will take them all the way back just inside their 23. Let's call it third and about. They've got to get to the 35. I'm sorry, they're Seven 27. Yeah, third and let's call it a short eight. Twins right and left. Hall is out wide left for them. Actually, trips. 
right, and then they, they motion a wing back. That ball is complete. For a first down. That that's haul, complete. yeah, that's haul. With a nice catch working into the middle of the field. And Nelson, so many times you see receiver, young receivers not get to the first down marker on a play like that where they break the pattern off. And he did a nice job to get enough yardage to complete. And if he made the catch, he was going to have the first down, and he did that. That was a good throw by the quarterback, too. The receiver yeah. went down toward the ground. So the yeah, we had some heat on him, but we just weren't able to get there. Now they got trips right. I believe Hall's in the, in the uh, interior of that one. No, he's out wide. Nice throw to 10. That's uh, cross again. Yeah, good looking kid also down inside in the double territory. Somewhere around Dublin's 45. To Devin Davis, number 10. To Devin Cross, excuse me. To Devin Cross there. Yeah, Devin Cross. They got some good looking receiver. wide receiver. All the way down to the Dublin 40. So, Dooley County trying to answer Dublin's opening drive for a touchdown with a touchdown of their own. They're definitely on the march. First and 10 for the 20, and right now they got trips left. They're running back off to the quarterback's left. Clayton fakes the handoff, drifts back, looking to his left, feels the pressure, gonna roll, throws it again, complete the cross. There's a flag down. He's down near the 25, you may have a hole. Let's check this We got ball. some holding by sophomore, by number four over there for Dooley, yeah, I believe. Hall, the wide receiver, other wide receiver out in front of the play, trying to make a block, and he may be guilty of a holding call. Or a holding penalty, I should say. Dublin running in, number 65. Dennis Wilcher. Dennis Wilcher. Will be a hole on Dooley County. That's a spot foul, Nelson. So take it back, but just outside the 45, they'll be first and about 15 from there. Trips left again with Cross in the slot. Hall out, wet, wide left. Clayton looking to throw it. Runs off to his left. Now he's got a man wide open down the sideline. Nice catch by Hall, and he runs out of bounds somewhere around the Dublin 20 yard. That RPO game is really hurt Dublin right now, Nelson. That quarterback looked look like he's going to run it, then pull up and throw it. We're getting a blitz, yeah. and the first man's missing, yeah. and that's part of Dublin's problem right now. That ball will be all the way down at Dublin's 21, first and 10 for Dooley from there. Hall will be out wide right this time, and they're going to have trips right. About a six-minute drive dude has got yeah. going here. Dublin scoring in about two minutes. Inside handoff. Oh, it breaks the initial line of scrimmage. They're able to get through and get down to about the 16. Nice run. Right there. I believe that was uh, Lorenzo Clayton. I don't know if he and the quarterback are related. Ball down to the 17, giving four yards, second and six. Dooley quick. And the quick handoff, not much there this time. But he does run, push his way, keep his legs moving, and pushes down near the 10. Malachi O'Neill in there, yeah, busting that play up there. for that one. I saw, uh, I believe, yeah, O'Neill. All right, now Dublin's trying to substitute late, and officials are going to play, blow, blow the play dead and give Dublin a chance to get their personnel in. Ball will be on the Dublin 11 yard line. First and 10 from there for Dooley County. We got a timeout. Dublin will take it right here. Be right back. Dublin leads 7 0. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender.
you've got miles and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out, season after season. You're going to need a Gravely built to mow the distance. Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. We're back at the Shamrock Bowl. <clears throat> Irish lead 7-0 late in the first quarter, now 348 to go, but Dooley is definitely threatening to possibly tie this game. Nice drive that started at their own two-yard line. They're all the way down to Dublin, the Dublin 11-yard line. Dublin, Dublin needs to come out with three good defensive plays here. Trips right, Clayton throws it, got a man in, caught! Yeah, caught in the corner of the end zone. Nice catch. I believe that was that number three. Number three, yeah. Deion King. Deion King is a defensive back and wide receiver. He was on my defensive sheet for them. Right. Obviously, he can play some wide receiver also. The Irish are going to have to make some adjustments this RPO game. Beautiful their, pass. Yeah, he went Clayton, up. Clayton, their quarterback, is showing us. He, he went that up high over our DBs there. Yeah, we had a back, defensive back right there. Appeared to be, but just couldn't quite get, get a hand on the ball. So Dooley with the extra point to tie the game. A little bit of a low snap. Kick is up and good, though. So with 343 to go in the first quarter, your new score for Shamrock Bowl. Bowl. 7, Dooley County 7. We're all tied up. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient. All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. All right, we're back. Dooley County about to kick off after going 98 yards on their opening drive to tie the game. <clears throat> Dublin with, I believe it would be Wright and Ashley back deep, just outside their goal line. Should be Ashley and Wright back deep. <laughs> yeah. Kick is a high and coming down to Ashley at about the nine. Juggling it for a minute, coming off to his left. Big hole into the open field, one man to beat. He runs through his tackle. Clay Ashley should be gone and he will be no longer on the field. That's a C double natural pass. It's a free play. They'll see Clay Ashley over that, I believe, a 91 yard kickoff return for a touchdown for Dublin to reclaim the lead. Tremendous blocking off to his left. Beautiful, beautiful block down here, about the 30-yard line that sprung him loose. And then it was Ashley for the house call. Well, Ashley showed you his speed and athleticism on that play. Not, not much ball control there, was it? <laughs> no, not much. We, we were talking about during the break, Dublin might need to run the ball a lot and try to control the ball, but when you can do that, you'll take it. Potter's kick up, a strong and good. So your new score now with three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter from Shamrock Bowl. Dublin 14, Dooley County 7. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County is here to help with all of your financial needs. Our team knows what it takes to make life easy and convenient and will help you get set up with our mobile and online banking. We founded Community Bank on common sense banking and a dedication to help people just like you. 
Our loan officer Gail Rainey and branch manager Amy Thompson know what it takes to make life easy and convenient and can help you with loans with almost everything from your automobile, home, land, or any financial goals you have. Come visit us today. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style. Drop by today and see the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service in East Dublin. We're now offering tires and service for all your agricultural and farm equipment. At Lakes, we've got you covered on the road or in the field. Big truck alignment, industrial tire pressing, and commercial truck service. So join the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now offering agricultural tire service. No matter where you are, call 272-4230 and our service trucks are rolling to you. Lakes Alignment and Truck Service, serving you at the same location right behind Thomas Auto Supply since 1954. So grab the family and head on out to the field. This football season, you're sure to be on a winning team when you join the team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now Agricultural Tires and Service, Lakes Alignment, East Dublin. All right, we're back from the Shamrock Bowl after Quay Ashley's big kickoff return gives Dublin the lead back. Potter to kick off, and Nelson, this, you hate to say bad, uh, good news, bad news after a 91-yard kickoff return. The good news is Dublin scored to take the lead. Bad news is their defense has got to go right back out and deal with that Dooley offense. Potter's kick. kick off oh, what a the ball's going to go. Touch the end, it never touched the end line. It's going to be down. It never touched the goal line. line. Yep, one of their uh, return men had to jump on that ball at the last second. He couldn't even pick it up and try to run it. Their defender yeah. ran away from the ball, yeah. which is something you never do. Yeah, that's right. John Potter is a huge weapon right now for Dublin. He's got one kickoff, ended up at the Dooley two yard line, and the next one ends up at their one. Well, if it's, if it's like last time, we're going to make one go 99 and a half yards. They went, what, 98 last time? <coughs> Hopefully we'll make them minutes. go three and out. A lot of fireworks <laughs> here. Back. A lot yeah. of fireworks here in the first quarter. Crackle. Plenty of offense, yeah, to entertain this homecoming crowd so far. A lot of big kids running out up front for Dooley County. And Although we have, Nelson, been able to get a pretty decent pass rush. We just can't get the guy on the ground. All right, fans on your feet. right the first and guy has missed, and the second guy has been able to clean him up. There. I see that changing, though, as they, they get tired. four yards deep in his end zone. They got twins right, and he's got a wing back off to his left and then a half back in the backfield with him. Inside handoff, that's uh, the other Clayton. Great play by Jeremiah Green. Green showing great range and running ability to run that play down for no gain. Put it back at the one, they'll be second and ten from there. Yeah, this quarterback's going to have to drop back in that end zone and attempt to pass here. And maybe we'll see a different rush. Yeah, we've had a hard time with that RPO game, Nelson. The good news they're not run is they're not running the ball. That's the second. At least two lost yardage plays on running plays they've had. Now they got twins right. Looks like Matt's protect again coming out of the end zone. Very little there. He might have gotten up near the two. The interior of the double defense played that extremely well. You see Desmond Gilbert coming out. I think he might have been involved in that tackle. Dennis Wilcher down yeah, there. Wilcher, yeah. Stifling defense yeah. by the Irish. Third and nine for Dewey County from their old two-yard line. 2.28 to go in the first quarter. Devlin leads 14 to 7. How about that band, those two leaders? A little chatter down there. Cheer you boys on on that field. All right, Dooley on a big third down play. Twins left, Hall out wide, let wait out wide. <clears throat> Devlin trying to adjust their defense. So got some heat on him and then miscommunication between. Clayton and his wide receiver. I believe he's trying to go to Hall right there, Nelson. Dublin pulled the guard and sent the Mike linebacker yeah. on a blitz that time and it fooled the quarterback. Yeah, the quarterback definitely was not on the same page with the receiver. Bottom line is Dublin did get that three and out we were talking about and they should get good field position from this punt. Clay Ashley's gonna be standing at the Dooley 35, Dooley County 35, so. 
we've got a chance to give Dublin really nice field position for this next drive. I saw Jeremiah Jeremiah Green, the guard pulled, and Jeremiah Green just blew up the middle. Their punter, the number seven, Daquan, Daquan Robinson, nearly almost, blocked. Almost. He may have and we might have gotten a piece of that ball. It comes down at about the 20, then backs up the near play. the 15. There is a flag down. Nelson, I don't know if we hit him, but I, it looked for all the world like we got a piece of that ball. It's calling a personal foul on Oh, Dublin. yeah, that's going to give them a first down. So that's a tough break for Dublin. They very nearly blocked that punt, and I still think they might have gotten a piece of it. Officials didn't see it that way. They're going to call the personal foul and give Dooley a first down. Well, I certainly didn't see it that way from up here, and we're looking straight, almost straight down at them. And I think that's what Coach Holmes is arguing, that they got a piece of the ball. Therefore, it shouldn't have been a rough in the penalty kicker call. He's very upset over that call. I totally agree with him. He had to get a piece of the ball because it didn't, yeah. go, 10, it didn't yeah. go 20 yards. I, mean, I don't know how the ball just goes almost straight up like that if he didn't get a piece of it. At any rate, the call was made and Dewey County gets new life on offense. They'll be at their own 17-yard line. First and 10, trips left. Waiting, looking to his left, throws that little wide receiver screen to the hole. Came out of his hands yeah. and Jeremiah yeah, Green was over there to. He, you could see him looking upfield just as the ball got there and he took his eye off of it and cost him a completion. It wasn't going to be a big play, I don't think, but it'll be second and 10 from Dooley County, 17 yard line. That ball may have sailed a little bit too. Yeah, it had some mustard on it too. Like we've got Jaquan Waters coming out and take a breather now. Yeah, I believe. Uh, I believe Tyler Wright may be out there. Oh, I, well, he's a starter, I'm sorry. All right, Ty's going to start offensively and defensively. Corner Blake back to throw. Big pressure. He'll pull it down and run and get a short gain up near the 20. So it'll be third and long for Dooley. Well played by Dublin's secondary, Nelson, right there. He really didn't have anywhere to go with football. We did put a lot of pressure on him, but he didn't have anywhere to just throw it away to either. So I'll be at the 19, so it'll be third and eight from there. Give the credit to uh, Cam Hampton there, right there. Kind of sniffed him out and watched him and followed him and uh, yeah. got him out of bounds from a defensive safety back here. All right, third and eight. Trips left with Hall out wide left. And off the hands of number 10 is intended receiver. That's Tredevin Cross. Tredevin Cross. It right, appeared, Nelson, that even if he caught it, he would have been short of the first down. Quarterback had to get, get rid of that yeah. before he wanted to. Dublin brought both corners in. Yeah, we, we brought a lot of heat the last two or three plays in on him. Dublin clearly not content to just sit back and let him kind of dink us and dunk us to death. Brings up a fourth down. Yeah, absolutely. So we got Ashley up just across his 45. Robinson back to kick for Dooley County. And the clock's running. Good snap. Good kick off to his left. That's going to and take a great bounce really for the kicker bounce. and stay in bounds. Go all the way down to the double 40. So Nelson will still be good field position, but not as good as we hope. Right. We'll take a quick break on change of possession. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team 
the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Possession of the game. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's double and second possession of the game only because of the kickoff return. Right, coming out to his left with blocking over that left end. Had some running room, then cut it upfield and got up near midfield. He'll have about eight, maybe nine yards on that. Mar Marcavius Evans, number 25 from Dooley, a linebacker on the stop out here. It put it all the way up at the 49, so give him nine. It'll be second one from there with 109 to go in a very long first quarter. Dell and coaches definitely have seen something on the right side of this Dooley defense over here yeah. that they like. Yeah, they've been out flanking them all night, or thus far all night. Now going the other way, in the handoff to Ashley. Oh, big hit. That's uh, Daquan Robinson, one of their running backs. Go on the right side. Came through our blocking Nelson right, right, right there and the throws Ashley for about a big loss. Wow. Take it back to the 43. So we went from second and one to third and seven. A loss of six yards. That hurts. Devin was trying to try the wide side of the field yeah. there for the first time tonight. And didn't have the blocking on the corner out Basically there. Basically a sweep to Ashley, and that didn't work at all. Double handoff right coming off to his left. Where, and he got close to the first down, Nelson. He might have gotten there, depending on the spot. I think it's, I think it's going to be fourth and about a foot. Yeah, he got a, he got a good, a nice block and was able to cut it kind of back toward the middle of the field and get additional yardage. Maybe we'll see Jeremiah Green right here for yeah, First down. All right, first down. They gave us a first thought, down. You know, we were afraid we might be a half yard short. That'll be the end of the first quarter. The the Shamrock Bowl, your score, Dublin 7, I mean Dublin 14, Dooley County 7. They work all week for Friday night. And when you call, click, or visit Dublin Chevy Nissan, you'll see our teamwork in action. Let me put your dream in your driveway. Let's take a test drive. The right vehicle, the right experience, the right dealer. Good job, here we and go. And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. You'll score a winning deal every time at Dublin Chevy Nissan. I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40-gallon hot water heater. Or a $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on a natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity and half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call to fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team at City of Dublin Natural Gas. All right, we're back. Second quarter, Dublin leads 14 to seven. Nelson, the uh, good look, good, good crowd for Dublin on the Dublin side of the field tonight. Homecoming. Their, yeah, they got their money's worth in a very entertaining first quarter. Long first quarter, fantastic quarter, exciting. Ashley, Ashley. off to his right, nice cut, runs through one tackle, pushes his way well, way up the field. Heck of a run yeah, by Quay Ashley. Nelson, that play should, probably should have gone for no game. And he, went, he made a nice cut and ran through one tackle and then just pushed the pile all the way down to the Dooley County 44 yard line. It took Jadavia and Fairfax and about three other Dooley County guys to get him down. One man's not going to get Quay on the ground. Great run. 
Helmet runs in Cornelius Rozier. Second, about four. Inside handoff. Not much there. Although, a nice job to finish that runoff strong. I believe he got right. a first down. Yeah. No, that's Jeremiah Green. Yeah, he did a nice job of finishing that run to get it all the way down to the 41. Third and uh, let's call it a long one at the 41. Good, tough running by Jeremiah Green. All right, Jeremiah's done a great job this year blocking for uh, our other two backs. Well, Venus Rozier's in right now at tight end. Dooley had a man jump into the gap between center and our left guard. And then we moved. Yeah, and then we may have moved. We did. We did. That's a tough call right there. You know we moved in reaction to their guy jumping in that hole. But at bottom line, he didn't get in the neutral zone. We moved. So it'll be third and six back at the 46. We may see JT Wright again here. Yeah. He's been our bread and butter tonight. Rozier comes out. He'd have to go to the wide side, though. Yeah. Ashley looking to throw. Man, Here's wide Tyler. open. Tyler Wright. That's Tyler Wright for an easy touchdown. Tremendous job. That's your city of the natural pass into the replay. Evans to Tyler Wright for the touchdown. 46 yards out for Dublin. The Irish go up now 20 to 7. That was a tremendous throw by Evans Nelson. A tough throw because he rolled to his left, had to kind of throw back across his body. Yep, and right was absolutely wide open. I watched, five yards behind him. Yeah, I watched the play there. before and they had nobody out there on him, and I think the coach saw that. Good strong kick by Potter is up and good. So with 10-15 to go in the first half, your new score from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 21, Dooley County 7. Hey, I'm Tom Dominey with Devlin Wynn Nelson, and we're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Devlin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585, or stop by and see our website at DublinWynnNelson.com. Conservative treatment options are typically where we start with both knee and hip arthritis. So if you come in to see us and your hip is beginning to be arthritic or your knees beginning to be arthritic, there's sort of a stepwise approach that we take. Anti-inflammatories, which are medicines like Motrin, Advil, Aleve, are usually sort of first line. We have prescription forms of those medications that we can use. In our elderly population, that becomes a little more difficult because they have comorbidities, things like diabetes or stomach ulcers or disease that they can't take those medications even hypertension so we'll try to treat them with medications if it's appropriate when it's not then we go on to things like injections so cortisone injections or there's these things called visco injections or visco supplements which are lubricating type injections that we can use to treat knee arthritis as well as hip arthritis to try to control people's pain and a lot of times we do that for years for people before they get to the point where those are no longer working and we're ready to talk about knee or hip replacement All right, we're back. Potter to kick off. Good, strong kick. Drive Dooley County down inside their own five. Five comes off with blocking. Oh, he's into the open field. Somebody got a piece of him. That was Potter, Nelson. He got Great a, job by Potter to got get a piece, piece of him. He piece of his shoestring down there. Yep, he was gone if he didn't make that play. 
So John Potter is making all kind of big plays in this game for Dublin. That one saved a touchdown. As it is, though, it'll be a nice return. They'll be all the way up to midfield. On that return, Nelson was number five, Al Saquon Adams. They're running back at cornerback for Dooley. Potter got a shoestring, yeah, a piece of his, just, just a piece barely, of his shoestring. Yeah, just enough to knock him off balance. He still got about yeah. 10 more yards and yeah. then went to his, went yeah. to his knee. But if he hadn't got, Tremendous a, piece, got a piece of him, he was gone to the house. Clayton with a low snap, inside handoff, not much there. He gets maybe a yard. Well played, Green was there. Um, Gilbert was there, a couple other guys. Dennis Wilcher, yeah. Dennis Wilcher. Yeah, Wilcher. Many fireworks we had in this game. There's a lot of guys putting their names forward for player of the game. That'll be a hard choice later on. Right. Assuming Dublin wins, and let's, let's hope they're up two touchdowns now. Let's hope that continues. Somebody right. somebody wants that Dublin Chevy Nissan trophy, don't they? Yeah. All right, haul out wide left, one man in the slot. Clayton looks to his left with blocking throws. We really, had, really yeah, tight we coverage had tight out here. Coverage. Yeah, that was uh, Mario Foster. Out Mario here. Foster, yeah, with a nice coverage right there on that receiver. That was on Cross, who's made some big plays already tonight. Prevent that completion is going to be third and about nine. Dooley County from Dublin's 49 with 9.20 to go in the first quarter. I'm sorry, first half. We went Quay Ashley on late. Bringing O'Neill out. O Dublin, out. Uh, Dublin substituting freely on defense tonight, tonight right there. Yeah. Trying to keep guys fresh. Uh, Dooley County called time. They didn't like the play call, so we'll take the time out with them. We'll be right back. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance he's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue, well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. Quality products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. All right, we're back, Dooley County, with a big third and nine from Dublin's 49. Actually, Nelson, I guess we can call it third and long eight. The scoreboard shows us eight. It's third and long, anyway. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good nine. Yeah. They got twins right and left. Hall is out, I believe, wide right. Dublin a little bit of a low snap, right he middle. drops it under a lot of pressure. Jeremiah Green gets there. Along with it, another friend over there. Is, uh, I believe that's 55. Ball. Oh. And, and show, uh, Dublin bringing that Mike linebacker, yeah. Jeremiah Green, yeah. just Jeremiah blowing Green. up the middle and blew the play totally up. I believe that's the first sack of the night for the Irish, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Now, Dooley will punt the ball all the way back and just inside their 42. The punter will be standing at near their 28-yard line when he receives this ball. Ashley out or down just outside Dublin's 25 to receive the punt. Clock's running down. Get it off. Good snap. Kicks a knuckle ball end over end, and it'll hit and bounce and go out of bounds inside the so Dublin 30. Good field position. Yeah. So we'll take a quick timeout on the change of possessions. Be right back. Double leads it 21 7.
They work all week for Friday night. Go Dublin! Are you ready? And hey! Keep up. And when you call, click, or visit Dublin Chevy Nissan, you'll see our teamwork in action. Let me put your dream in your driveway. Let's take a test drive. The right vehicle, the right experience, the right dealer. Good job, here we and go! And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. You'll score a winning deal every time at Dublin Chevy Nissan. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient. All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. All right, we're back. Dublin about to take over. The ball actually be placed at their 30-yard line. We'll also remind you of tonight's game being brought to you by Dublin uh, Houston Clinic. I'm sorry. Doctors Richter and Gay. Inside handoff to Ashley. Ashley. Coming around to his right side. Nice run. Tackle up high around the helmet there. No flag. He gets across the 35. Just that handoff coming off to his right. Seven yards. Yeah. Nice game. That shows you his speed, Nelson, because he had a guy tracking him the whole time and he just couldn't, couldn't catch up to him. He hit second gear in the backfield yeah. and, and turned it on. And his second gear is mighty good. <laughs> well, he showed us that on that 91-yard uh, yeah, sure touchdown. Uh, yes, sir. All right, double one man out wide left. And off to green in the backfield. All that play was blown up from the start. Never, never had a chance. Good, that was a good job by the interior of Dooley's defensive front. I believe that was number one in there. That's Davian Williams, one of the defensive linemen. And to Tyler Lundy, number eight in there. That'll take us back to our 35, so it'll be third and five from there with seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. Nelson, 28 points on the board in less than a quarter and a half, or about a quarter and a half. A lot of fireworks in this game. It's been a great game yeah. to watch. Ashley, I mean, uh, Evans rolling out to his left. Nowhere to go with the ball, and he runs out of bounds. He just, he, he did that bootleg roll to his right. Trying to hit Cornelius yeah, Rosier down Rose here, but he was double covered. Yeah, good job by the Dooley secondary right there. He just didn't have anywhere to go with the football and had to eat it, basically. He'll be out at his 35, so Dublin will have to punt okay. from there. Potter in the punt tonight. Good to see Dublin trying to yeah. throw on that third and five yeah. there, though. Yeah. Keep, it'll keep Dooley on their toes. Yeah. Potter standing at his 25. Good kick, runs off to his right on the rugby kick. Good high kick. It'll hit and skid down inside the 20. Nice Great job by Potter. Potter done a great job kicking the ball tonight. And the ball will be placed on the Dooley 18 yard line. That'll be first and 10 from there. kind of hot topics are things called patient specific implants and instruments which is where we use imaging like CT scans and MRIs to measure people's bone and look at the shapes of their bones and then make implants and devices we use to implant the, the knee or hip replacement based on that particular person and just about every company has that available and, and people use it to varying degrees just based on again the patient's anatomy and whether there's some reason that you really need that extra assistance. There's also robotics that is starting to come out into the orthopedic world that's been in the general surgery world for a while now. We're starting to use robotic arms to do things like to help us make the cuts and shape the bone so the implants fit well. I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater. Or a $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. 
get a $200 rebate on a natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call to fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team. Seated at Dublin Natural Gas. All right, we're back duly with Trips Right. Back inside there, 20, handoff off to his left. Running big back, running back. A little bit of room, big, strong running back. That's 21. Number 24. That's Clayton, Lorenzo Clayton, pushed across his 20 up here to 23. Picked up about three, maybe He's a really stout running the back now. So you look at the way he's built, seven. big thighs. Number 24, DeMar yeah, Foster. Shoulders. Took him down by himself there, though. Yeah. Ball will be placed at the 22, so give them, what's that, nine yards? Uh, no, they were at 18. Give them four, so it'll be second and six from there. Foster made a pretty good play on him yeah, that time, he did. I think. He did. That kid's just hard to bring down. He's well, they're all big. built very powerfully. Clayton rolling to his right, throwing. We had, we broke on the ball. Yeah, that'll be a... Yeah, Quay Ashley was trying to play a play on the ball, but unfortunately hit the receiver before the ball got there. They're going to flag you every time for that. Right, it was almost like he was going through the receiver to get to the ball. I, I, I almost can't fault him on that. Yeah. But they're going to call it every time, yeah, like but, you said. Yeah, but when you do that, you got to time it perfectly. Right. They'll call it if you hit him even one second before the ball gets there. Nevertheless, it's going to give Dooley a first uh, down a there. First down, the ball will be marked all the way up. It looks like at their 37. Dolan needs to play six minutes of good defense here. Yeah. And, of course, getting the ball back to their offense, which has been extremely productive. And they've gotten it. At any rate, it's first and 10 for Dooley from there from the 37. they got trips left. Now, Hall's in the slot, I believe, this time. Cross out wide. Clayton looking to his right, pass all the way, throws it. He dropped it. Yeah, threw it to Hall, who was the inside receiver, and he just dropped it. That's two drops for him, Nelson. He does appear sometimes have a tendency to try to look up field to run with it before he catches it. Let's go in this first half for the great first half. So second and ten from Dooley, from Dooley from there. Dublin playing sound defense since that first yeah. uh, possession. They really tight defense had. up, no question. A little bit of a low snap, throws it complete. Good. We make the tackle green, hit hole. Then he ran through the tackle and got up to the 45. Short of the first down. Yeah, bring up third and short, maybe three. Third and about three, you're right. Yeah. Those of the football game. just touching the 45, and it looks like they've got to get to the 47 and a half. Call it, call it third and a short three. Clock's still at almost six minutes to go till half, and it seems like we've been playing three hours. Yeah. All right, Dooley will call another timeout. We'll take it with them. Be right back. Dublin leads at 21-7. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. 
drop by today and see the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service in East Dublin. We're now offering tires and service for all your agricultural and farm equipment. At Lakes, we've got you covered on the road or in the field. Big truck alignment, industrial tire pressing, and commercial truck service. So join the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now offering agricultural tire service. No matter where you are, call 272-4230 and our service trucks are rolling to you. Lakes Alignment and Truck Service, serving you at the same location right behind Thomas Auto Supply since 1954. So grab the family and head on out to the field. This football season, you're sure to be on a winning team when you join the team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now Agricultural Tires and Service, Lakes Alignment, East Dublin. All right, we're back. Dooley with a big third and three from their 45 inside handoff. Running back with a full head of steam. He'll have the first down, Nelson, up near midfield. That big running back, and it did yeah. take three of them, yeah, three hours to get it down there. Yeah, he had a real head of steam, and he wasn't going to be denied. First and ten, Dooley looks like the ball will be placed right at midfield, maybe their 49. It will be a first down. Again, Nice game being brought to you also by Houston Clinic, Dr. Heath Richter and Dr. Dustin Gay. Always appreciate them bringing us the broadcast. Coming back out in that 4-4 defense again, right there. Clayton looking to his left, throws, got a man that's cross. And he'll be down near the 44-yard line complete. Good job, Nelson, by Double the secondary to run to the ball and prevent him getting more yardage after the catch. Juan Waters and Jeremiah Green came in there and cleaned it up. They bring up second and about four from there. They got to get the double 40 yard line with 4.55 to go in the first half. I like that because it keeps the clock running. Yep. It seems like Dooley takes the whole play clock to run a play. Yeah, they use a lot of clock. Got trips right, twins left this time. Empty backfield, bad snap, and it's eating up. Yeah, eating, eating up. up. Uh, is that uh, Willis? Uh, uh, Caleb Hall. Darty and Hall there. Yeah, Caleb Hall. Yeah, that was a poor snap, and of course, they would trip twins left and trips right. They had nobody in the backfield to help block. So once he got that low snap, he was dead meat. I think Dez was in there pretty hot on that yeah. play too. Dez yeah, Gilbert. It's coming hard. Ball will be all the way back at Dooley's 47. They'll be third and then, is that going to be about 14? Third and about 14, 13, right there. maybe. Yeah. Now they got, again, they've got trips right and twins left with a man in the slot to the right. Now they run another receiver left. So they got, okay, so now they got twin trips left. Delay a game, they, they couldn't get the playoff. It'll be a delay a game call on them. They outsmarted themselves that time. Just too much formation and motion. That'll take it back to the 42 and make it third and what, about 18? About 18 or 19. Just too much going on on that play. Too slow to, too slow to get the formation set and it cost them five. Devlin bringing in number 19, Trey Ball, and a transfer out of Statesboro High School. This kid can straight fly. That running back wasn't fooling anybody. Big hit. Dennis Wilcher. Dennis Wilcher. Yeah, kind of a delayed blitz right there. He came from the quarterback's left. All over him, all the way back at the 32 yard line. Of Untouched. County. Yeah. So Dublin has really, Nelson, since that first drive, ratcheted up the pressure with the pass, with the pass rush. Well, Coach Collins has thrown some different schemes at yeah, uh, the really Dooley has. quarterback. I think it's confused him somewhat. Yeah, I agree. Dublin's got enough time to maybe yeah, mount a drive. Absolutely. Him. Ashley's standing about in its own 37. Big pressure on the kick. He gets it off, it'll hit dead and bounce a little 
back against the kicker. Great field position. Yeah, great field position. Double near there, 44. 240, yeah, 249 to work with. Dublin's got two timeouts. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. All right, we're back. Dublin with the ball and, the, and a two touchdown lead. They were at their 44 with 249 to go in the half. And off to right, off to the left side. Nice cut. Cut Red back. One attempt to tackle and cut it back toward midfield. About eight yards. Yeah, gets into Dooley County territory near their 48. That's a nice run by right. Nelson, Almost eight yeah, yards. Yeah, he broke it off. Took it to his left and then broke broke one tackle and came back to the middle of the field to get about five more yards. Well, that's been part of our problem this year. We've, we, we've kept trying to push it and push and push it to the outside and it wasn't there. Coaches are telling them to bring it back inside now. Inside hand off to Green. He'll break it to the outside. Not a whole lot there. Hall with a big hit on him. Yeah, like you said, keep okay, bringing it to the outside and it just wasn't there that time. We do have flags all over the place. Let's check this call. That'll stop play with 2.08 to go in the half. And yeah, we were in short yardage situation there, so. Yeah. Let's check the call. It'll be a face mask on Dooley County. That will help us. <laughs> That'll give Dublin a first down the and take it all the way the down to their 32 yard line. The Irish with 208 to go in the half and two timeouts to work with. Getting down to John Potter's range now, Crather. Actually, we're now down to, yeah, we got two timeouts. Yeah, you're right. Potter's had a heck of a first half. Pop will start back. We're now down to two minutes to go in the half. <clears throat> Quick hand off to Ashley coming to his right. Not, no blocking there, and he had to cut it back inside and get what he could. I think that'll be no game. Nothing there. Their middle, yeah. Mike Linebacker made yeah, a good play out like, nicely. Yeah, second and 10. Over with 135 to go in the half. The Irish do have two timeouts. Trying Nelson to at least get in field goal range for Potter. I'm watching our receiver right here. I said we we're covering him now. Really tight fakes. Here we go, wide open. Right. We had a receiver Evans running wide open. Evans running wide open and didn't see him. Evans winds up eating it and being thrown for about a three-yard loss. It'll be third and long for double. I think he just gone ahead and just got gotten rid of it. Yeah. On the initial bootleg there, we had a touchdown. I'll be back at the 36. Clock's so running uh, too. Yeah, third and about 14. Yeah, with under 50 seconds now to go in the first half. Tried a little sneak touchdown pass there and almost had one. Evans coming off to his left with some running room. Cross the, the ball. ball. Picked up by Dooley County. They'll be up near midfield. Oh, that was a tough play. The, I don't know that the defender who tried to tackle him, Nelson, hit the ball, but it did cause Ashley to lose control of it. 
he, he, may have been, he may have been trying to change yeah. hands. I'm not yeah. sure. It's on the other side of the field. Yeah. Hard to see from here, but the ball came straight up. Yeah. Tough break to Aquarius Evans. Had some running room there. He wasn't going to get the first down, but he's going to have a nice game, it looked like. we got to give it back to this, yeah. the Dooley County team yeah. with 30 seconds. Is, yeah, that's scary. Mind, yeah, they don't mind a short clock in a long field at all. All right, ball will be and they're just touching their 48. They'll have twins right and left. I believe Hall's out wide right. A little bit of a high snap. He hits his inside receiver. I believe that's, that's Hall. Yeah, that's Hall. All the way down to Nelson. The near double is 20. Right, one play gets him down to the 15. We had a missed block by. Yeah. Miss tackle. O'Neill there. Play, yeah. Ball at the double 20 with 22 seconds to go. Now they don't have any timeouts. So, doubling call time, I believe a tired defense. We'll take it with them and be right back. Good morning, this is Kyle Gerard with A Plus Flooring and Construction. I'm standing in a home that we recently renovated for a customer. A kitchen is a very vital part of a home, especially when you get ready to resell or just you like to entertain people. We came in with new granite countertops. We even changed some of the seating areas of it. We refinished all the cabinets, put new doors, new hardware. So we can use your existing cabinets. One of the things that we did that changed the look of this kitchen was the lighting that we did. We added a lot of LED spotlights. Went from an old oak gunstock hardwood floor to a new hickory random link floor. We can change it from top to bottom. Lots of many pretty things that we've done. Come by and see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction at 1801 Rice Avenue in Dublin, Georgia. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Hope to see you soon. and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out, season after season. You're going to need a Gravely built to mow the distance. Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. We're back. Ball at Dublin 20, they take a timeout. Dooley Nelson does not have any timeouts. That probably doesn't bother them, but they can throw it around. Twins right and left. Dublin's homecoming court over on the far sideline. Dublin just trying to do something right here, just anything yeah, they can anything. to stop this attack. Exactly. Good snap. Clayton back. Man wide open. A nice catch for a touchdown. That's cross, I believe. Yeah, he had too much time to survey the field there, Nelson. Delivered a nice ball and a great catch by Cross. Dooley had the ball with 30 seconds to start yeah. that drive, and it's still 16 seconds left on the oh, clock. Wow. Yeah. So they're looking to make it a seven point ball game if they can have a successful point after. And Dublin yeah. will be kicking off for the second half, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Good snap, kick is up, partially blocked, but I believe it was good. It got I believe just somebody got, got over. a hand on it, yeah. All right, your new score with 16.3 seconds going to half. Dublin 21, Dewey County 14. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team 
the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. All right, we're back. Dooley County to kick off a double. Uh, Nelson, I believe that our return guys sense they're going to try to squib it or something. It's going to go out of bounds, and they'd rather have that than kick it to right. All right, we'll get it up on the 35 with 16 yeah. seconds. If I was them, I would have done the same thing. Make them re kick this, I think. They're going to make them re kick it. Try to get left. That's Hampton, I believe, in right back deep. Isn't it Nelson or am I looking at the jersey numbers? Surely that's Ashley. That's... Now that looks like number six. That's right? Cam Hampton. Yeah, Hampton. Now we got, now look what we're doing. We got Ashley Rozier back deep, I believe. There's Ashley, yeah. We might be going to try to catch it and lateral it back. All right, they'll be ready to go. They'll be back at the 35. Kickoff. Dublin Nelson playing all kind of games with their return team, trying to sure trying to get the ball in the hands of either Wright or Ashley. Now he kicks it along the ground. Wright will pick it up just outside the 15. Comes up with some blocking. Gets it across the 30 near the 35. Now under 10 seconds, so. They don't have one yeah, play probably. One play and probably run a safe handoff and just get out of here with the lead. Devon played a phenomenal first half. They really did. Up until that yeah. last drive yeah, there that's and we had a, shame. a mistake. Give up touchdown with no more time than they had on the clock. The first and 10 hours the third Game looked like it was going to get almost out of hand there potentially, and then uh, one fumble in 15 seconds. Dooley gets a touchdown, and we got a 21 to 14 ball game now. All right, Evans brings them up for what will probably be the last play. Fumble, of the fumble he drops the, the ball. He jumps on it, and that will be the end of the half. So at halftime, the Shamrock Bowl just scored. Dublin 21, Dooley can Stephenson has been working to keep you and our community safe. Our mission is to lessen the trauma suffered by individuals who have been abused or assaulted. We provide evaluation in a safe, caring environment to encourage collaboration of services for the benefit of the victim and their non-offending family members. We strive to increase the protections of victims and hold offenders accountable. Here at Stepping Stone, you are never alone. If you or someone you know has been a victim of child abuse or sexual assault, please know we are here for help and comfort. We offer a variety of resources to help meet your needs and get you out of difficult situations. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or call our fully confidential crisis number at 478-595-8339. You can also reach us at our office at 478-275-9010. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. All right, we're back at the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin, to kick off to start the third quarter, leading Dooley County 21-14 here on homecoming at the Shamrock Bowl. A lot of fireworks mm -hmm. in the first half. Great game. Good strong kick by Potter. That will go into the end zone. Cleared it into the end zone. On the fly. Yeah. 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 
Off Dooley will have it at their own 20-yard line. All right, fans, you've had a good halftime. Now let's make sure Nelson, the first home. drive and the and last drive in that first half for the Dublin defense were very tough, even. but other than that, they played extremely well. Well, that's, the that's, that's what's kept the game tight for Dooley is, is those two drives there. Other than that, Dublin played a magnificent half, I thought, the first yeah, half. They did. And the offense got a lot done. And, of course, Quay Ashley on the long kickoff return for a touchdown. No mistakes that first half until we had that little fumble right there right. at the end. That and it cost us. Duly cashed in on. But other than that, I think Dublin played mighty fine football. Let's see what we'll do the second half here, right. Crather. Their quarterback, Antoine Clayton, inside handoff, got some room up across the 25. I mean, okay, up near the 25. Up a couple yards, going to bring up a second. They spread us out, and Nelson, that time, tried to hit that quick hitter seven, right in the gut. And we actually played it pretty well, giving three yards, call it seconds. Big seven. Dominic Darty up in the middle, up in that all by himself makes that tackle. <laughs> Darty brothers on the right side of Dublin's defensive front. Mm -hmm. Throws it to Dublin Hall. Was ready makes for a him. move. Yeah, he's up. Only got a couple of yards up to the 25. Well covered. Right there. Good job, Nelson, of tackling after the catch to prevent him from getting upfield. Is that a flag out there on the other side of the field, or is that just that's some tape? Yeah. Pretty good. Defensive play, we were yeah. on them, had them cut well covered there. Uh, hopefully we can get them off the field right here, third and five. Trips left this time, Hall in the slide. And watch number, out wide. Watch number four on a slant here. Yeah. We don't have anybody is. covering him. We didn't have a guy within five yards of him, so an easy pitch and catch for the first down. <laughs> Up first down across the, the 35. Down the he went five yards and just turned around. Yeah. And then he, we, we he didn't, didn't run around. We didn't have anybody covering, you know, straight up on him. They'll be up at the 37, first and 10 from there. Made it way too easy. I probably would have been shading maybe two people toward him on that play. All right, they got trips right this time. One man. Off the, the halfback off to the quarterback's right. He'll hand it to him right up the gut. Oh, a big hit. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Green in on that play. Caleb Hall was there as well. He'll get about five though. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah made him think of he'll make him think about coming up in there again yeah, like that. That was a big stick. All right, Irish defense needs a stiffen here. Get off the field. Dublin back in that 4-4. Trips right, inside hand off again. Well played that time. Not much there. Darty the was there. Demonte the Darty was there. Ball's gonna be placed down I believe that's uh, Damari Foster. Damari Foster, right. Their ball carrier is hurting. We'll have a quick timeout for the injury and be right back. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full-service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. 
All right, we're back for Dooley County, third and about three here. They're running back. Daquan Robinson is able to run off field under his own power. Hopefully he'll be okay. Hadn't seen the quarterback run yet. No, we have a trip right. Clayton was running back off to his right. Dropping back. Straight drop back. Big heat by Darty, complete to Hall. Oh, he took a big stick, and I think he got enough for his first down. They're going to move the sticks, it looks, looks like. like Green missed him, and then yeah. Jaquan Willis came up and cleaned him yeah, up pretty good. A big hit right at the 47, but it'll be first, first down. Their receivers know right where the yeah, yard, yard mark is. Yeah, getting the yardage they need to get to the sticks when they catch it. Paul's going to be in. Out wide left here. They got trips left, cross, and the slot. Inside handoff to 21. Breaks it down the sideline. He's going to go. Can anybody catch him? Great effort by, is that Damari? I mean, uh, Damari Foster. Foster again Great there. effort. Touchdown, yeah, to save a touchdown at about the 10. But a tremendous run by. Antoine Taylor. Taylor. Big guy really showed some speed there, Kreiter. He did. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that was 14. That's uh, so basically first and goal. Come on, Irish defense. Come on, Irish fans. Get that 24 for them. 24 to Antoine Taylor. Inside handoff, not much there. Well, he pushed it. Pushed it for about three. Pushed it down to about like the seven. Did a good job of finishing that run. There wasn't a lot there. The interior of the Dublin defense played it well. They're going to move the ball back to the eight, actually, so he'd only got about two. Let's call it second. and Actually, it's second and goal. They've got to score. So they can't get a first down. They're going to have to score a touchdown. Hall in the slot, cross out wide left. <clears throat> Clayton out of that shotgun with his running back. That's Robinson, I believe, off to his left, now to his right. Inside handoff, nothing doing. He'll be taken down right at the line. Might have lost a half yard. I believe Darty was there. Yeah, he'll lose, he'll lose a full yard, I believe. Foster in there again. Foster as well. So third and goal from the Dublin nine-yard line for Dooley County. Watch Dooley come out this quarter, Crather, and primarily run the ball on first and second down. And then when they needed a first down on third down, they thrown a little five-yard pass and, and yeah. converted on it. So, right, so slants, haul in the slot left, cross out wide left. Clayton looking to throw. And misses behind Hall. Yeah, he threw it kind of in between Hall and Cross right there. Good job by the Dublin defense to stiffen. Let's see if they'll attempt a field goal. Looks like they're running a special teams on. Yeah. From down here deep. Good job by the Dublin defense, Nelson, to bow their necks right there inside their own 10 yard line. So it's fourth and goal from what, the nine? Yeah. Be the right hash. I believe their kicker is number 93, and we don't have his them listed. 99, that is. They're running a man on They're short, and I don't believe he's going to get there. Yeah. It's and going to have a is that a timeout? I think they call I time. They call quick. time. Yeah, they were about to have the play clock run out. And on. Dooley County What's is it? trying to connect on about a 25-yard field goal, which would bring them within four. They had to use the timeout there with the play clock running down. A little bit of a high snap. He gets it down. A good, be good strong kick up and good. So it's 6 yeah. and it 626 good. to go in the third quarter. Your score, Dublin 21, Dooley County 17. Nelson, they, in fact, they did have to use that timeout. We'll see if that comes into play late also in the fourth like quarter. Like right. I talked to Coach Holmes earlier in the week, and we talked about their kicking game. And he seemed to think that they had a really good kicking game. The kicker was good. I noticed the first kick there. We'll take a quick timeout. Change it.
Hey, I'm Tom Dominey with Devlin Wynn Nelson, and we're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Devlin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585, or stop by and see our website at DublinWynnNelson.com. Conservative treatment options are typically where we start with both knee and hip arthritis. So if you come in to see us and your hip is beginning to be arthritic or your knees beginning to be arthritic, there's sort of a stepwise approach that we take. Anti-inflammatories, which are medicines like Motrin, Advil, Aleve, are usually sort of first line. We have prescription forms of those medications that we can use. In our elderly population, that becomes a little more difficult because they have comorbidities, things like diabetes or stomach ulcers or disease that they can't take those medications even hypertension so we'll try to treat them with medications if it's appropriate when it's not then we go on to things like injections so cortisone injections or there's these things called visco injections or visco supplements which are lubricating type injections that we can use to treat knee arthritis as well as hip arthritis to try to control people's pain and a lot of times we do that for years for people before they get to the point where those are no longer working and we're ready to talk about knee or hip replacement Okay, all right, we're back. The Irish about to receive the kickoff from Dooley County. They maintain the lead, all it's been now cut to 21-17 after it was 21-7 earlier. We got Wright and Ashley back deep. I'd be shocked if he kicked it to Ashley. And Dravius Bram and looks like Waters are the up men here. Kicker squibs it along the ground. Come in Dravius Mims. Yeah. And he, he could never could get a handle on the ball. He'd just dive on it at 25. And Dravius Brim there probably yeah. did a good thing, but it's by falling on it yeah. when he couldn't pick it up. That's right. Now, some look at Ramonte Darty. He seems to be favoring his left leg a little bit. He's got it wrapped up. I saw him pulling at it and adjusting it while ago. Hopefully, he's okay. Right, uh, I don't think I don't think we held him out any this week in practice. Uh, he does go both ways. A very valuable asset. Yeah. Don't forget our player of the game brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Also, want to thank our sponsors for the game: Dublin Chevy Nissan and Houston Clinic doctors Richter and Gay. Hand off off the right around the left side. Good tough run and he pushes out across the thirty. Good blocking on the interior line yeah, there. The a little bit of a push, and Wright always finishes those right runs off very well. Gets all he can out of it. All the way up to the 32. That's that'll be second and three from there. Now this this third quarter, Nelson's moving a heck of a lot faster than the first quarter did. <laughs> Under six minutes, and this is the first time Dublin's had the ball. Yep. Yeah. And off to Ashley, he cuts, kicks it into another one man. And gets across the 40, like you said, Nelson. One man at him by the legs. If not, he was gone. If the curious bold when number 14 was not there, Ashley would have had a house call. Yeah, he would Great have. tackle. You saw that burst there. Yeah, tremendous burst. He's up to the 42. So two plays have netted Dublin 17 yards on the ground. Good First blocking on the corner there. there. Yeah, that play was well blocked. Now we got uh, Foster in also, I believe, at a wing back. He's going to block for Ashley coming around the right side. He had one man. That was number six, Jadarian Fairfax. Got him just as he stepped into the hole, but he's still got a gain of about four, maybe five. That's your typical Dublin offense yeah. there. Five, six yards on first down there sets up uh, some really good play yeah, call in there. It. Let's call it second and a long five. Yeah. 
about two yards there, maybe. Got tripped up. Yeah, their linebacker hit him hard. That's Jamari Sanders for them. Again. Yeah. All of us could call it 47, third, and about five, maybe. Coming to the short side of the field over here, Crather, up top yeah. from the press box, you can see how quick their linebackers close. Yeah, yeah they, they run to the ball very well. Evans brings them up. Hand off to right, going around the left side with blocking. He'll have his first down, down the sideline. Look at that speed, he's down here in the third. Great blocking by the left side of Dublin's offensive line. Nelson, also the guys who pulled around out in front of him, clearing the way for him. And JT Wright doesn't need a whole lot of room to get him around that corner, and he is gone. JT went ahead and hit second gear in the backfield, which is before he got to the corner, which is what we've needed to see out of him. Ball will be placed at their 26. That was a gain of a, nearly 20, I believe. And off to Ashley, comes around the right. No, no running room, no blocking. Yeah. He's hitting the backfield, I believe. That's uh, Robinson, the, run, the linebacker. Again, we talked about how well their guys run to the ball, and that, that was an example of it. He'll lose a yard, I think, on that place. Let's call it second and 11. Their linebackers are having to come up and make the plays. We're getting one to five yards on first down. We got one then, but their backers are having to make the plays. They strung us out well. That time. Evans fakes it. There right, he is. Rolls out. Had a man open who fell down. That was Foster, I believe. Evans faked that handoff to right, came off to his right, looking to throw it. Now heavy Evans, heavy yeah, pressure by number 10. Took a big hit, and he's, he might have to come out, Nelson. He, he's, he looks pretty gimpy right now. Well, he's had a sore ankle yeah. uh, the last two weeks. So but he will he's stay back. in. I think he just, he just upset a little bit, I think, there that the, the blitz got to him because he had, did have a receiver down there. Yeah. Of course, Foster slipped also when he tried to come back to the ball. It'll be third and 11 for Dublin from there. Maybe in two-down territory here. Probably are. Now play is blown dead. Let's we didn't, the this. clock got us. Delay a game. Yeah. Delay a game. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that'll make it third and 16. Coach Holmes can't be happy about that. Now, I think he was expecting the ball to be centered. Uh, yeah. Obviously, before it was. Right, he had a referee. He was standing, standing right there by him, so he could have called a timeout, and he was not expecting that. Evans rolls his right, looking to throw, under pressure, and he'll be taken Sack. down back near the 45. He threw the ball away at the end, but he was already down. Very good pass rush that time by the left side of Dooley's defensive front. Ta Taquan Robinson again over there. Their backers are having a pretty pretty, pretty good yeah. game tonight Double against us. Have to punt. Potter hopefully can kick them into the hole. John Potter's been a game saver so far tonight. Well, you're Potter back yeah, he's made a lot of big plays in the kicking game. Good kick. That ball will hit well and roll in the end. Oh, it hit the piano. Yeah, it roll hits in the, the pylon. It hits the pylon. He was trying to One angle foot away. It, yeah, and have it go down and out of bounds inside the 10. Didn't quite work. We'll take a quick break on the change of possessions. Devlin leads at 21-17. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent. 
and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. All right, we're back. Dooley County has started their own 20 with 2.52 to go in the third quarter, and Dublin leads by four. Nothing safe for this Dooley County offense on the field, right there. Trips left, twins right. Oh, somebody broke on the ball beautifully. That was uh, Cam Hampton. Cam Hampton nicely to take the take him down. He got a short game, maybe a couple of yards. But great job of Hampton coming up and breaking on the ball and making the tackle. Hampton getting his first start tonight out back there in the backfield, too. Yeah, he had great recognition right there. He saw that all the way and closed fast on the receiver. Hampton's played well for Dublin the last two years. Backup role running back last year and done some good things this year. First start tonight on defense. Trips left for Dooley. Inside handoff, breaks it to the outside with some running room. Good tackle right there in the open field by I believe it was Foster. Foster again. We've called his name a bunch tonight, haven't we? So running back Lorenzo Clayton takes it up to the near the 27. Let's call it third and a long four for them. Again, trips left. Always want to watch the snap on plays like this. But see if they might get a low snap. Now he's all of switch them over. The yeah, the twins left. Hall out wide left. I believe crossing the slot. Oh, it went to went to make quarterback an inside handoff. The quarterback dropped it. Had to grab it. And he snowed under right there. Big play for the Irish yeah, defense big there. Big play. Hall is there, I believe. Caleb Hall, a couple other guys. Yeah, you're right. That's a huge stop for Dublin. Ball will be on the Dooley County 25, and they'll have to kick it. Dublin should get field position back yeah. here about midfield. Yeah, Ashley's standing at just inside his 45. Clock running down here in the third quarter already, yeah. Prather. Yeah, we're nearly through the third quarter. Robinson back to kick for Dooley County, standing just outside his own 10 yard line. Darty got a huge break on that ball. Green catches it on, on the fly. Short punt on the fly. Gets a couple of yards, yeah. Great <laughs> field position now. Yep, that is. <laughs> Jeremiah Green with a really heads up play. Low line Nelson, I think he was surprised he caught it because he delayed just a minute and running with it. Right, that's one of those things like, do I have it or do I not have it? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, I thought we'd get field position about, about the 50. We're down on about the 37 now. We'll take that all day long. Dublin needs to get points out of this drive and hopefully a touchdown. And off to Green with a good head of steam. He bulls his way up the field inside the Dooley 30 yard line. Good run by Jeremiah Green. Green just running with those big thighs there, Crater. Yeah. Second and two, eight yards on that carry. Again, stay with us for our player of the game brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. We're not going to make the quarter here. We might get it off. Nope. Play is blown dead, so we'll be through three quarters with Dublin leading Dudley County, 21-17. Fourth quarter. quarter coming up. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. 
Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. You've got miles and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out, season after season. You're going to need a Gravely built to mow the distance. Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. All right, we're back to start the fourth quarter. Dublin was second and two at the Dooley County 29, I believe. Really need to get a drive here, Chrysler. Yeah, need need a touchdown out of this. Double handoff, right blocking on the corner out Listen here. Some blocking. Had one man come up and play it very well. He did get, yeah, he did get a couple of yards if he could have cut it inside. But the bottom line, it is a first down for Dublin to be at ball to be placed at, at the Dooley County 24. Right, that play almost yeah, almost, broke al it. almost broke for a touchdown there. We had one one guy out there. And yeah, couldn't get a block. He, he fought, fought off the block there. Good running by JT Wright. Green directly behind his quarterback, Evans. Inside hand off to him. Decent hole and then closes fast. Give credit to those linebackers for Dooley County. Nelson, we talked about it. It seemed like all night where they run to the ball very well. Number eight, Jatyler Lundy. I think he should have taken that straight up field instead yeah. of veering out because yeah. they closed on him and we got nothing. Yeah. And he, he can run with power. Of course, we've seen that. Yeah, no gain there. So second and second and ten. Evans rolling there to his left, is. looking to throw, got a man wide, wide open. open. Down there. That's, the, interference. Man, that's gotta be a flag. Yeah, they ran into yeah. Rozier. Yeah, I believe it was Rozier in the end zone. Wide open, had a beat on that ball, and the, the cornerback just basically rolled him up. Nelson runs right into him. If he could have got the ball out there yeah. quicker to him, that should have been a touchdown. Yeah. There. Evans is rolling to his left, and like you said, Mike, if he could have gotten it out, out of his hand, just a Maybe one count quicker, that would have been a touchdown. Really good call by Roger yeah, Holmes. Great call, there. great call. Their defense was not ready for that play. And they the cornerback was beaten and just had to run, take the receiver out. But the good news is that places the ball all the way down at Dewey, the Dewey 12 yard line. We can can get another first down. Yeah, the can't two get if a we first need down to. without scoring. And off to Ashley, no running room. Got He'll be taken down here. behind the line. Got flags down as well. I thought Evans was going to pull that ball down yeah, and bring it around I the corner, which yeah. maybe he should have. Yeah, there was Evans. nobody here. Yeah, I think that would have been there if he had done that. He's taking. Let's check this penalty. It may be against Dublin. They're backing up. But Nelson, we're going in the wrong direction at the moment. Right, we've got to go from here down to the two to get a first down. We're out on the 25 now. Wow, second and 23 for Dublin. Ten and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Evans back Take to throw. Back again. In trouble, he'll just throw it away. That play just did not develop. So it'll be third and long, and now Nelson, you got to worry about. Obviously, you'd love to get the first down, but you got to get all the way down to the two. But you want to, at the very least, set up Potter for a field goal to make it a seven-point ball game. Right. I think it would be good to maybe get a, a little ten-yard out. 
Yeah, or a 10-yard sweep and then try to kick a field goal here. We don't have, we're not having time to throw a 25-yard pass, yeah. it doesn't look yeah. like. Their backers That's right. are putting pressure on us. And that big nose guard's coming. Absolutely. Evans back to throw with pressure, a little screen, right? But no block in there. He'll be taken down behind the line again. Really good call. Yeah, good call. It just didn't work. We just didn't get our blocking set up. The Darty now is really, I think he's cramping. He's favoring that left leg very much. We'll take a quick timeout for the injury. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient. All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn & Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. All right, we're back. Dublin with fourth and about 25. Or is it third? I'm sorry, it's third now. But here lately, Nelson, we've been going in the wrong direction. Right. At Dublin had a pretty decent drive, good position, field position there, and. and, and had the ball at the 12. Yeah. Things just kind little of like we were, a little like we were going in. Evans rolls to now his he's right. He's got time. It overthrows Overthrow Ashley. Him. Yeah, he was well covered. He tried to let, throw it out in front of him, maybe let him run in, run to the ball in the end zone. That'll bring up fourth down for Dublin, so. Two plays in a row, we don't get anything, Nelson. So we don't, we don't. I believe we don't Two get a field in a row. position. You probably just got to go for this if you're not going to try to pooch it. In so close, really too close to pooch it. On your feet, let's get going here one time. I will say he did have some time there. Yeah, he did. Well, well blocked. Fourth down and 25. We've got JT or Tyler right out wide right who has caught a touchdown pass tonight. Uh, now you got delay a game. Delay a game on Dublin, and we're going completely in the wrong direction. We may have to punt, Nelson, after all this. <laughs> now you, honestly, you might punt this to try to pooch it, because you're out now at the 30, what, the 30, 33? 30, 33, 34 yard line out here. 33, third and 30, or fourth and 30, I should say. We're still going for it. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's fourth in the Brookwood Creek back there. Yeah. Fourth in Rockledge. <laughs> Double handoff, flea flicker. Evans has a man open, but that'll be picked off by, is that Hall who can run well with it? And he's all the way up to the 40. That was a good thought, Nelson. We just didn't execute it very well. Ball kind of hung up a little bit. Ball, yeah, hung up. Throw it more on the line. It might have worked. A good, good idea. But bottom line is, what we had it at their what 12 yard line, first right. and 10, and now they take over at their 42. So we lost 30 yards of field position in about five plays. On a four-point game here, Irish still leading in this yeah. ball game. Dublin defense now just got to kind of hang on. Dublin needs to bow their neck on yeah, defense absolutely. here. They got the 
the head trips right. Now they bring their receiver across and hand it to him. He'll get about five yards. Well, about three yards. He's up to 45. Seven. Call it second and six. Six, second six. Quan Waters on the tackle over there. Mark the ball up at the 46. Quarterback fakes a little right uh, down the middle. pass right down the middle. Yeah, he, slant pattern, I believe it was. I believe that's cross on the reception. All the way down to our 35, but we got a couple of guys slow to get up. We're going to take a quick timeout for the injuries. Monte Darty, one of them. He, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County is here to help with all of your financial needs. Our team knows what it takes to make life easy and convenient and will help you get set up with our mobile and online banking. We founded Community Bank on common sense banking and a dedication to help people just like you. Our loan officer Gail Rainey and branch manager Amy Thompson know what it takes to make life easy and convenient and can help you with loans with almost everything from your automobile, home, land, or any financial goals you have. Come visit us today. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style. Drop by today and see the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service in East Dublin. We're now offering tires and service for all your agricultural and farm equipment. At Lakes, we've got you covered on the road or in the field. Big truck alignment, industrial tire pressing, and commercial truck service. So join the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now offering agricultural tire service. No matter where you are, call 272-4230 and our service trucks are rolling to you. Lakes Alignment and Truck Service, serving you at the same location right behind Thomas Auto Supply since 1954. So grab the family and head on out to the field. This football season, you're sure to be on a winning team when you join the team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now Agricultural Tires and Service, Lakes Alignment, East Dublin. All right, we're back. A couple of guys went out there, Ramonte Darty and Damari Foster. I believe I saw Rozier go in. Now Dublin uses a timeout. There's some confusion as to their personnel, I believe. Dilly with a first and ten out here on Dublin's 35, Crather. Yep, Big pressure by, is that Green? He yeah. just has to throw it away. It, yeah, oh, he was lucky it wasn't a pick six over there. Great job by Jeremiah Green. Malachi O'Neill over there on the coverage, but that was all due to the blitz there. Dublin had a backer break loose and come up in there. Which is how we played the second quarter. Yep. Big heat on the quarterback. You're right. Maybe that timeout was uh, was There's good that there. Jet sweep handoff. Good cut by. That's uh, I believe that's one there. Receivers number five. Adams run, running back actually. Third, five. Third and fairly short, about five or so. Jeremiah Green on the tackle over All there. Placed at double is 28. They've got to get down to the. 24 and about four. Quarterback took a knee then, yeah. but Darty was all over him. Big play there by Ramonte Darty. The quarterback slipped, and Darty was there just to go ahead and finish him off. Which keeps the clock running too, Craig. There yeah. was seven. Uh, seven, be down around seven and a half minutes probably when he kicks it. 
Corey Ashley will be going back for the Irish. Ashley standing Hope right at his, his own 10. Yard 10. Boy, could we ever use a really good punt return? Right there. Yeah, and their, their punting game has been on and off tonight. Good snap. Darty putting a lot of pressure on him. Good kick, though, inside the yep. 10. Rolls dead just inside the oh, Dublin 10 yard line. So a lot of pressure now on the Dublin offense, Nelson, who bang this thing out, get some first downs, runs the clock, and get some field position. Yeah, we need, we need a 90 yard drive. Yeah, that'd be great. About a seven minute 90 yard drive here to go ahead and just put this game away. We'll so see. Take if, a 90 yard run. Too. Right. <laughs> the Ryder Club, the U.S. is leading 6 to 2 over the year. 62 for the Ryder Club. That's good to hear. Great competition on the golf course. Doubling up first and 10 on the nine yard line down here, Craig. And off the right. Coming He's on the corner. He's on the Whip corner. Blocking down the corner. Down the sideline, I should say. First Took a big hit at about 30. That's a run of about 20 yards. That's what we needed to start that drive. Great blocking is JT Wright came off with came off to his left with the ball. Right, he had a cut going with him, really. Right, I could watch him. You could see him hit second gear before he hit the line of scrimmage, and uh, Jamar Sanders ran him out up here after about a 20-yard game. Nelson, Ramonte Darty's playing his heart out. He's had all kind of cramps. He's been down on several plays. He's now holding his back, and he's in there playing his tail off. And off to Ashley, and he's going to be corralled and thrown for a loss. Almost looked like a horse collar, yeah. but we're not going to get yeah, that call. Yeah, it didn't look like a horse collar. One of their linebackers again. Yeah, it's Ashley. No, nah, I think he's okay. He's just disappointed the way to play with. Yeah, that could very easily have been called a horse collar. That sweep to the right has not worked for that us tonight. tonight. Yeah. He's going to lose, what, about at least four yards right there. Call it second and 14, a long 14. Yeah, it kind of wipes out some of JT's uh, yeah, that big run we had. Yeah. And off to right, off to his left again. Fumble. Oh, fumble. Dooley's going to get the ball. Dooley's going to get the ball. Yeah, he, yeah, he saw him rip it out of there. You can see it from up yeah, here. There just wasn't any running room there. Nothing was happening on the play. And then disaster as the ball's ripped out. Dooley County will take over at Dublin's 27-yard line. Plenty of time on yeah, the clock. 625 though. to go, but Dublin defense in a big hole right now. Dublin's gonna have to continue to bow their neck on defense here. Uh, Darty, Jeremiah Green, Foster, Caleb Hall. Dez Gilbert, these guys are going these guys are gonna have to bow their neck right here. Yeah, yeah. Boy, running back tough running down inside the 25. Well that's where they started off this half is trying to run the ball right there, aren't they? Renzo Clayton. Been effective. Yeah, actually played pretty well by Dublin's defense. The ball will be at the 24. We'll call it second and what, about six, seven maybe? Oh, well played right there. They did push down inside the 25. Oh, are you kidding me? Man, we hit that guy hard outside the 20 and he pushed all the way down to about the For a first 16. down. First Gave him a first down. Dez Gilbert met him with a pretty yeah, good lick. You could, a big lick, and that, he just keeps those legs moving. Churning. You, could, you could hear that lick up here you at sure Carmike Cinemas. Yeah. Another one, and while we played it well that time, he'll spin off every time Nelson when we hit him. And, and get about and three. Inside, yeah, got a couple more yards. We just can't. Don't, we're getting, doing a good job of hitting him, we just can't get him on the ground without him gaining more yards. Now, trips left. There's another one, again the push. We can stack him up pretty good at about the 10. And they're not calling it, they're letting they're, him they're push. Not, they're letting him, letting him push him. They're not blowing the play dead. He's all the way down to about the three. This is where that 20 to 25 pound average, yep. bigger than Dublin is uh, 
They're paying dues for a dually right now, Chrysler. It is. We got a man down. We'll take an injury timeout with him. Be right back. They work all week for Friday night. Go Dublin! Ready, ready! And hey! Keep up. And when you call, click, or visit Dublin Chevy Nissan, you'll see our teamwork in action. Let me put your dream in your driveway. Let's take a test drive. The right vehicle, the right experience, the right dealer. Good job, here we and go! And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. You'll score a winning deal every time at Dublin Chevy Nissan. I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater. Or $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on a natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team. Seated dub and natural gas. All right. First and go with the Down on about the double three. three yard line. Yeah. They're going to hit it off again. Big stick by somebody coming off our right side. Well played right there. Ball up in the air, but they're going to blow it dead. Now they're going to blow something dead. Yeah. Bubble the for Monte Darty on the, on the stop. I mean, they let they let Dooley they let Dooley push and push and push. The ball goes up in the air, and all of a sudden there's a whistle. Call it no gain. Second and goal from the Dublin three yard line. You're right. Dublin viciously down here trying to stop this vaunted Dooley County attack right there. They run in that big sturdy running back with the big thighs. That's Clayton. And off he'll go in easily to score. Give Billy County the lead, 23 21. Plenty of time left. Yeah, a lot of time. 422 left. Our offense is going to have to get in gear. They have struggled. Nelson, we haven't scored since we took a 21 7 lead. Now, here's a key point after attempt because if we could block this or they, they get a bad snap or something, a field goal could win it. This is a key play in this game. Good snap. Good he had kick. a man crashing in, but didn't get there to kick us up and good. Yeah, and really good kick. Yeah, so with 422 to go in the ball game, your new score, Dooley County 24, Dublin 21. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance he's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue, well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. Quality products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. All right, we're back. Now getting late in the fourth quarter. Dublin now behind after Nelson had a 21-7 lead. And now trail 24-21. A little bit of 
little squib kick. Yes, Darty running with it into the open field. Nice cut. Dominique Look at the Darty, big man run all the way down near that yeah. 30. Oh, running like a fullback. Yeah. Great job by Nathan Ramonte Darty. Nelson to first to field the ball, period, and then to make that tremendous run. He probably ran about 35 yards with that ball. And Crather, he's been down on the ground probably yeah, four times. Hurt. Yeah, he's been with, with playing injuries. on spit, bailing wire, and guts this entire fourth quarter. And off to right, around to his left, nice cut with a, for a little bit of yardage. Did he fumble again? Took the ball away. They took the ball away. Wow. Down. Or was he down? down. They're, they're signaling they're down. They're calling him down. Wow. Woo. Dublin gets a break there. They signal JT Wright was down at, I believe, the 28. He's very upset with himself, but he needs to keep his head in the game. We need him right now. They give him maybe a yard. Call it second and nine. Second and long nine. Big time of the game right here. Yeah. Inside handoff to Ashley. Ashley. Not much there. He'll push down near the 25, but not much. Yeah, he'll get a couple of yards, maybe to 26, and he'll bring up a huge third down play, Nelson. You got two guys down again. Yeah. yeah. Ashley, I think. Just, and Jeremiah yeah, Green. Yeah, Jeremiah Green cramping up now. Dublin with third and about seven. Ooh, Evan struggle coming out of there. He is. There play. he is. Got it to right down inside the ten at about the eight. Great job by Jaquarius Evans Nelson. He nearly fumbled that ball coming away from center. Tremendous yeah. catch by oh, JT Wright. And deliver there. a nice ball and great catch by JT Wright. Let's see where they place it. Now that, the ball was yeah. thrown on a line there. It sure was. He led him about a yard yeah. and it was thrown on a line. Perfect pass. Dooley County's nine yard line. Dublin will be first and go from there with 321 to go in the ball game. <clears throat> Dublin had one man going deep there and then broke a man short. Yeah. And uh, had nice thrown that route. Great catch. There's right off in. to his left down to about the five. Really holding that yeah. ball. Yeah. Make sure he didn't bump it. Second and goal from Dooley County's five yard line. And Nelson, I wouldn't mind seeing some clock run right here. Right. Whatever we do, not leave them a lot of time to work with to either go in overtime or if they're behind, if we can score, we could score a touchdown. Down to 254 now to go in the game. Each team with two timeouts. Been a tremendous ball game tonight. It really has been a very good football game. And there's a handoff around left end to right. right. He'll He's go in. in it. It. He's in the, the corner. corner. He's left in the corner. corner. That's a touchdown. That's your City of Dublin natural gas instant replay. JT Wright on the sweep around left end for the Dublin That's touchdown. Long. Al Potter in Nelson for a very pointed eight. Very big point, eight yeah, point. To make it a four point football game. Dooley will have two, <laughs> about two and a half minutes to work with on offense. Good snap, kick is up, good and strong and good. So your new score from the Shamrock Bowl with 2.37 remaining in the ball game. Dublin 28, Dooley County 24. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. 
Shop Adcock Home Furniture and more for a great selection of dining room sets. And save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and more. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and more Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. this today? Go. Go, go, go. Things just seem so out of control. That's why the things we can control are so important. That's why we're members of our electric co-op. The whole reason the co-op exists is to bring us the electricity we need. So they look out for us. They invest in the best technology you can get, just to keep the power on. Not because they have to. They actually do it because it's the right thing to do. All right, John Potter about to kick off for Dublin. And Nelson, we were talking during the break, he's had a couple of great kickoffs tonight that wound up going dead inside the five. We could sure use one right here. They had one in the end zone. Yeah. Really good high kick. Sky high. But short and about the 11. They have a man coming down with blocking around the left side. Watch the hold. He's down in to about the 50, maybe just inside double territory. I don't see any flags no out flag, here. Yeah. Uh, wasn't sure about some holding the ball yet. Dooley County now will have outstanding field position. Really good high kick. Yeah, with a high kick with a short kick. And out ran the coverage. Yeah. Just couldn't get, we couldn't get down in in uh, in our lanes to stop him from bringing I, it back all the way to midfield. I thought he was back down toward our 40, but they're yeah. bringing it back to midfield. He's apparently stepped out somewhere in there. All right, Dooley County with two timeouts, 2:28 to go, exactly at midfield. And they got to have a touchdown. Yeah, touchdown or bust for them. Clayton back to pass with time, big time hold right there, not called. And he hit a man for a first, near a first down, big time hold on one of our pass rushers that was not called. I don't think they've called it all night. Uh, he, had, he clearly, but it was, should have been a referee able to see that. It was a clear hold right out in front of the quarterback. But it's about a nine yard gain to the 41, second and one. Really good catch by yeah, four over yeah, there. Two, yeah, it was. two toes in bounds. Yeah, he tight roped the sideline. And then stopped the clock. Yeah, stopped. Inside handoff to Clayton. Big hole rumbling all the way down to the double 30 yard line. Dooley not giving an inch. In a hurry up offense, not giving us time to substitute. We've got two timeouts. We might have to use them on defense, Nelson, just to regroup. Trips right, one man wide left. Both Clayton's in the backfield. Hand off again, a little bit of room, and the guy just pulls his way forward. Now they are gonna blow it dead at the 25, but he got about, he got about five. Dude, Actually, Dooley, we'll take it back to 26. Just running that fullback dead into the teeth of our uh, defensive line right there. When he gets the ball, he's looking to hit somebody and push forward. Now down to minute and 20 seconds. All right, they got twin trips right. I'm sorry, twins right. Double's going to call a time. Double's going to use a timeout. We talked about using our timeouts on defense. I'm going to do the same. Monte Darty really winded, so right. Right, I think it's trying to regroup. Dublin has played 70 seconds worth of football and defend from 26 yards out, and it's touchdown or bust for Dooley County trailing by four. There's that jet sweep, cuts back down inside. He's going to be down to about the 12 or so for a first down. Now with 102. 
as they start to park to move the chains. This is, this is eons of time for yeah, Dooley. Yeah, Dooley got, needs to make a yeah, play. They've got two timeouts, you're right. We're going to have to make a play. Clayton back, neck, empty backfield, a little bit of a low snap. And he's under a lot he's of pressure, sad. taken down outside the 20. Darty. Monte Darty again got there and he had some help. I'm not sure who was with him. That'll be a Dennis time. Wilcher. Yeah, Dooley County calls time. 42.9 seconds to go. We'll be right back. That was huge. Good morning, this is Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. I'm standing in a home that we recently renovated for a customer. A kitchen is a very vital part of a home, especially when you get ready to resell or just you like to entertain people. We came in with new granite countertops. We even changed some of the seating areas of it. We refinished all the cabinets, put new doors, new hardware. We can use your existing cabinets. One of the things that we did that changed the look of this kitchen was the lighting that we did. We added a lot of LED spotlights. Went from an old oak, gunstock, hardwood floor to a new hickory, random length floor. We can change it from top to bottom. Lots of many pretty things that we've done. Come by and see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction at 1801 Rice Avenue in Dublin, Georgia. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Hope to see you soon. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. All right, we're back for the final 42.9 seconds. A huge sack by Ramonte Darty and company. We'll call it Darty. Second 20? Yeah, to put them back in second 16. Actually, should be longer than that. Should be second about 18. Clayton with big pressure. Wide oh, open down here. Great, great tackle, though, but down inside the double three, five yard line. About the three, now they're down to 36 seconds. They've got a timeout, Nelson. That was a great job by Clayton to see it. You see it break it open right over the middle. Tough. You can't cover them all day, but that was tough. Now, Call a timeout. Call a timeout. You had to get the alignment straight. All right, 23.9 seconds to go, Dublin, because their last timeout. 23.9 seconds. Dublin defense grimly trying to hang on Nelson from their own three yard. At their own three yard. I'm thinking they're probably going to run that big fullback right up in there. Well, that's their running back. There he goes. And and oh, huge play. Huge play by the double defense. And that green, yeah, uh, Clay Ashley there. Clay Ashley had a couple of friends with him. Great job by the double defense. Dooley will, I believe, call their last time out. It'll throw him back all the way to what, the seven yard line? All right, Damari Foster was, Demari was, Foster was there a too. big part of yeah. that play. Yeah. Yeah, Ashley made the tackle, but DeVore Foster time. probably made the play. They've got Nelson, if they throw it, maybe three plays. This is going to put uh, Dooley in a passing situation. Yeah, yeah. We they're, they're out of timeouts now. Dublin defense made a huge tackle for loss of about four right there. 18 seconds to go. Dewey County is now out of timeout. Second and goal from the Dublin seven yard line. Now their quarterback runs over, gets the play call. They do have over 20 seconds left, so they've got plenty of time on the play clock. 
Clayton rolling to his right. Throws, got a man open. For a oh, touchdown. For a touchdown. I thought we had a defender breaking in front of him, Nelson. We couldn't get there. Couldn't get there. Couldn't quite get there. Dooley County scores to take the lead. Not much you can say about that. We just were a half second late, either getting to the football or getting a hand on it. Tremendous pass and yeah. catch there by yeah. Dooley County. Yeah, that was a good call, rolling the quarterback out to buy time. Right, instead of dropping back yeah. uh, where we've had the sack tonight, but that's. Yeah. Mm. Tougher. The field kick is good, so that puts him up. 31-28. Nelson, if we could get a long run or maybe a long kickoff return or something, maybe. If Quay or JT yeah. could break one, yeah. we might could get kick Potter field down goal, here. Possibly send it in overtime. They could get Potter down here. The Irish are in a tough position right now. They. Both teams have played hard for four quarters and really gotten after it. Shame to see anybody lose this game. Since 1999, Stephenson has been working to keep you and our community safe. Our mission is to lessen the trauma suffered by individuals who have been abused or assaulted. We provide evaluation in a safe, caring environment to encourage collaboration of services for the benefit of the victim and their non-offending family members. We strive to increase the protections of victims and hold offenders accountable. Here at Stepping Stone, you are never alone. If you or someone you know has been a victim of child abuse or sexual assault, please know we are here for help and comfort. We offer a variety of resources to help meet your needs and get you out of difficult situations. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or call our fully confidential crisis number at 478-595-8339. You can also reach us at our office at 478-275-9010. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. Dooley County about to kick off. There's a little squibber coming to Darty. He's going to run it again, up the field. Look at the big man rumbling, bumbling, stumbling inside their 50, although we use a lot of time. Only seven seconds left, Nelson. We don't have any timeouts. We got to either throw it in the end zone or maybe throw a ball on the sideline. A guy catches it and goes out of bounds with one or two seconds. To Need about a 20 yard out and a field yeah. goal. Yeah. Take a shot at it. Good effort by Darty right there, who's played his heart out tonight. Ball will actually be placed on the 49 of Dooley County. Neither team with a timeout and only seven seconds left. Right, Dominique Darty would probably be my player of the game tonight. Or Ramonte. Right. That's his son. <laughs> All right. Aquarius Evans. Back to throw. This will be the last play. Does it? Tyler, Tyler Wright. Tyler Wright. With but unfortunately, we run no out time of, left. We run out of time, and Dooley County wins the game.